Number one thing to remember here is volume is still your primary thing that's going to be producing the hypertrophy outcome with all other variables being standardized, right? And so keep that in mind that there is no secret to how you arrange your rep ranges. Big picture, scoped out big. Generally, how I, I structure the programming is the first compound movement of the day has a high skill component, and it's usually in the, a lower rep range, could be 6 to 10, could be 8 to 12. From there, we move to a more brace pattern, and the rep range shifts up. That could be 10. 10 to 14 reps. Then we'll have an isolation pattern that would go 12 to 15 or even 15 to 20. So across the session, we're having exposure to the variety of rep ranges in case there is some extra benefit to like moving into the higher rep ranges and getting more metabolite sequestration and pump and things like that. So compound lifts are high to do high reps with and isolation lifts are hard to do really, really low reps with. So I think across that session, it also brings about some variation in experience too. So it can be more entertaining in that in that sense.